was it like to take home a win from Allegiant this last week from finally getting one at home? Uh, it was good, honestly. That was probably my first one. I think that was my was first one. So like that was I really enjoyed to have a lot of fun with the guys for sure. Kobe, you're playing the best ball of your career so far this season. What do you think has allowed you to have so much success just hitting it off the ground with, with a new team? It's a bunch of things. Honestly, I can't point out just one thing. I mean, one thing that I can't think of right now probably would be just the guys in the room. You know, they come out, they compete every day. And we all go out there and fight our hardest. The ball just fall where it fall. And I've been lucky so far. So. It seems like Jimmy has a level of trust with you out there in big moments where it's third down, red zone. How have you guys developed a relationship? You know, mm -hmm. you haven't known each other that long, but mm -hmm. it seems like you're pretty, pretty good connection so far. Oh, uh, yeah, I would say so. That was something that was kind of instilled into me early in the league, just being somebody that's trustworthy every play. So I try to go out there and do that every play, like I said. It, are, I mean, are you playing the best ball of your career, or are we, are we just seeing the production on the, on the stat sheet? Honestly, that's up for y'all to decide, really. You know, so I'm just out there doing what I like to do. So if it's the best, it's the best. If it ain't, it ain't. How know? much have you been driven by, by being undrafted? A lot. You know what I mean? A whole bunch for sure. I mean, there's definitely other factors out there. It's a whole bunch of things that kind of motivate me, but that's something I'll probably never forget for sure. Do you have any sort of extra motivation going into this game? I know you said, you know, you got to, obviously that tweet that, that went kind of viral early this offseason. You said you were kind of just messing around. But is there any extra juice going against the team that, you know, you used to play for? No, nah, I'm not a dude who probably need a lot more motivation than what I already have. So I'm going to just go out there be me and just enjoy it as it comes to me. I know you brought it up when you first came here, but uh, I'm sure. Uh, the tape of last year's game has popped up by this week as well. Or, mm. Have you been taking some grief from anybody from last year? Of course, I get the jokes. I probably, probably get a joke like that once a day at this point, so I'm just rolling with the punches now. When you see the performance the Patriots put on against the Saints, does that kind of give you any extra juice as well to see that they were shut out? Nah, I mean, if anything, it made me feel bad for them because, like I said, I got a lot of friends, a lot of family over there, so. I want them to play best ball. I want us to play our best ball. You know what I'm saying? It's really just about inspiring kids and everybody else who's watching. So I'm going to go out there and try to put my best foot forward. I hope they do the same. How much energy does it give you seeing what the defense is doing right now on that side of the field? Uh, it's exciting. You know what I mean? We just we kind of just trying to get our perfect game, get a good game for us where we feel like everybody's helping everybody. You know, the defense helping the offense, offense helping special teams, and vice versa. So we're just trying to put our best take out there. Devontae went through this last week, you know, going against the old team, the, the extra kind of attention and the, the focus. Like, did he tell you anything about what it, what it was like for him last week to kind of help you this week? I mean, nah, but I can see it. Though. I could just, you know, guys spend a lot of time in a certain place. It, I mean, you feel good to see the guys, but you also want to go out there and put your best foot forward, like I said. So I'm definitely trying to do that. I learned from how it was for him last week, and I feel like I'm going to just take it pretty well. So. There's a lot of guys in this locker room that obviously were on the you know the Patriots before. They went through this last year, you know, going against their old team. Mm -hmm. You were on the other side of that. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you guys with the Patriots going against the Raiders with all the all the guys that were here that were there? I'm probably the wrong person to ask for real, man. I ain't gonna lie. I just I like to play ball, man. Yeah. So whoever it is, like like I said, I'm happy to see my guys who come here, but you line me up, I'm going out there to play. What what do you think was, has been the key to your development to go from you know where you were as a rookie to where yes. you are now? Like what were the the keys for you to get to where you want to be? I'm hungry. Yeah. That's it. Like, I'm hungry. Like I want to be good. I want to be great. I want to feed my family. So that's it. How um, do you think Bill Belichick is responding to stuff like this? <laughs> Can you tell? You got to ask Bill. <laughs> Do you laugh when people say he's on the hot seat? Nah, I don't even pay attention to it. For no. really. yeah, not at all. Not at all. Obviously, Defensive Player of the Week. Yeah, how does that feel for you? Not just getting that award, but also like being one of the first Eastern Michigan players to have that honor as well. Yeah, you know, it's a it's an honor. Um, you know, every time I go out there, I want to be at the best. You know, at my absolute best. And uh, you know, I write in my in my notes every single day. It's me versus me. You know, I try not, you know, to pay too much attention to the outside noise or anything like that. I try to just lock in on you know being the best version of myself every day. So um, yeah, it's it's an honor, but. You know, the main focus on the team, uh, what we got, you know, coming up. We have a short week. We're playing New England, so, you know, we're fired up and, you know, ready to get back out there. Did, 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 I mean, do you remember, like, last week, all the, or last year, all the people here from the Patriots building, there was so much attention on this game. Like, yeah. How much did it help to go through, even though it's not you, like, everybody else started to go through that to kind of calm things down this year? Yeah, you know, that's, I, you know, it was expected, especially, you know, last year was the first time, you know, them going against each other, I think, uh, you know, so. Yeah, there's a lot of attention and everyone talking about it. But, um, you know, for us, we're just trying to stay focused on uh, on the mission. You know, we're trying to win. Uh, it doesn't matter who's in front of us. 
and uh, we know you know they have a lot of talent, a lot of uh, you know great coaches, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a big challenge. So yeah, you know we're focused you know on ourselves and, and finding out you know the best best way we can go out there and you know get another win. Having pitched the shutout in the second half against the Chargers and then limiting the Packers to 13 points, what's the defense doing better now than it was doing in like the first three and a half games? I guess. Yeah, you know I feel like uh, you know. You got to give a lot of credit to Coach Graham. You know he's doing a doing a great job. You know leading us and uh, putting us in great positions. And you know we have a lot of guys that are you know that are bought in. So that's all you can ask for. You know we're I talked about it post game, but just getting you know more shots at goal and uh, you know continuously going after the ball and hunting the ball. Uh, that's what it's all about. We got to play complementary football. You know everybody's got to be tied in together. And I think you know it's a credit to all the leaders on you know this side of the ball with you know Spillane, Epps. Marcus Peters, all those guys, you know, everyone's on the same page and we're just trying to look for ways to improve, you know, in every way we can. So um, I think people are seeing that and we just got to keep, you know, going in the right direction. What about on the other side of the defensive line from you? Are you feeling that you're getting more help, for lack of a better term, from that side and more push? The guys are at the offensive lines are having to pay more attention there and giving you more opportunities per chance? Yeah, you know, I think everybody's stepping up. You know, you see Malcolm Coons, you know, you got to talk about him. The dude has been, he's been killing it and you just see him coming into his own. Um, he's in his third year now, and he's just starting to put it together. He's really rushing well. He's playing good against the run. Um, he's getting better, and better. You know, every single day he steps in the building. So, you know, uh, I'm super proud of Malcolm. You know, there's I can go on and on and on, but you know, Adam Butler, John Jenkins, Jerry, um, you know, the whole crew. You know, everybody's getting better. Isaac Rochelle's coming in and getting good snaps. Uh, you, we just have to keep improving. You know, that's that's the goal every single day. And uh, you know, as a D line, you know, we're super tight knit, and uh, I think that's you know directly you know translating onto the field. What's the energy been like seeing the, the team like Merrick got the turnover uh, a couple of weeks back and then the past week you saw Spillane and then he'd be able to get some as well. So what, what's that feeling like in the defensive room just uh, kind of seeing that starting to come into fruition? You know, it's awesome. You know, this league, you know, everybody's good. So um, whoever wins the turnover battle, you know, typically wins the game. So, you know, that's something we focus on every single day. We do, we drill it, we practice it, we do it in every single way. So. Um, you know, finally starting to see more turnovers, but it's, you know, just the beginning. You know, we got to keep doing it um, at a high level, um, keep, you know, hunting the ball. And uh, that's how, you know, we're going to help the team win. So, uh, yeah, we just got to focus on the details and keep improving. People want to talk about the sacks, but you led the league in times for loss last year and you had four. When did things start to click to you as a, as a run defender? How important is that to you in your game? Um, it's very important. You know, I want to be the best, you know, complete player I can possibly be and be the best in the league at what I do. So uh, for me, you know, it's not just about rushing the passer. You know, that's the, you know, the sexy stat that everyone looks at. But, um, you know, that's obviously important. Um, but being the best complete player is, is my goal every single day. And, uh, you know, like I talked about before, you know, it's, I feel like, you know, when I came in the league, everybody said they tried to put me in a box and say he's a pass rush specialist and he's this and he's that. It's like, for me, I want to be able to check every single box and some. And uh, every time I step out there, I, I'm, you know, I have a chip on my shoulder and a point to prove. So um, I'm just trying to improve in every single way I can. And you know, run and pass. You know, I have room for improvement, and that's, uh, you know, that's what I'm, you know, fine tuning every single day. Thinking back, what was that an area you needed? Like early in your career, were you not as good against the run? And is that something you, that you focused on working on, or was it just people making things up about you? I won't say they're making it up. You know, there's, you know, there's, it's still like there's still room for improvement in every way of my, you know, every aspect of my game, and uh, that's my approach every day. You know, you never got it. Um, there's always more to do, um, always more to improve on, and uh, that's my that's my mindset every time I go out there. So yeah, you know, early on in my career, I think it, you know, I was a skinnier guy um, typically, and I wasn't just you know setting the hard edges every single play. Like I had that you know that style in my college game. Like I, I had 19, I think 19 TFLs my last year in college. So it's like I'm playing in the backfield, but back then I was a lot more unsound and uh, trying to do too much sometimes. Um, and that's something I still, you know, got to improve on. It's just, you know, getting better and finding when to take my shots. And, uh, you know, every time I step out there, it's like just taking it one play at a time, focus on the play and, uh, you know, where my feet are. You've been three consecutive games that you guys haven't allowed a points in the final quarter of the game. How big is it for you and your unit to be in your best level at the end of games? Yeah, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, for – for us as a defense, we talked about it. You know, coach challenged us. You know, especially after the Buffalo game, um, we want to be. You know, the reason why we win. Uh, we want to be able to. You know, keep people off. You know, keep offenses. You know, continuously guessing and. Um, you know, keep them off the field and, and continuously getting stops and turnovers helps. So, um, you know, we're on a mission. Uh, you know, I'm proud of these guys, but there's a ton of you know t ton of room for growth and um, definitely have a lot of work to do. You know, moving forward.
Three years ago, stated many times, you know, you want to be the best, you want to go down as the best, and all yeah. that. Like these these awards along the way. I mean, I know it's not the biggest thing, but the defensive player of the week. Like are those things, you say, yep. There's another one. Like you keep adding those up, or they're just you know, whatever to you. Yeah, you know, of course, you know, that's my goal. You know, like you said, I want to be the best at what I do. Um, that's why I work the way I work. I want to win and, and be the best at, you know, on the planet at what I do. And uh, that's my goal every single day. So, yeah, you know, getting recognized for it's awesome, but um, I'm already moved way past it. You know, I heard about it the day before. My agent, you know, he told my girl and she told me immediately. So I was already, you know, I knew the news before anybody else. So, um, yeah, you know, it's awesome, but, um Every single day matters, and uh, all I'm focused on right now is, is New England. You talked about keeping offenses guessing. Coach McDaniel said today the only thing they haven't had you do is drop back and pass coverage. Uh, do we start lobbying for, for that wrinkle now? No. No, <laughs> no I'm good on that. <laughs> but if they want me to, you know, I'll do it. But, uh, yeah, I don't see myself, you know, playing any uh, linebacker anytime soon. Max, speaking of New England, knowing that they had a shutout, is that like an extra motivation for your defense to be like, we can do that too? Um, you know, last week is last week. You know, Green Bay is a totally different team than New England, and uh, you know they played the Saints. It's a totally different, you know, unit over there and what they're doing. So yeah, you know that doesn't matter. We obviously watch the film. Uh, we're watching a ton of film on them and film on ourselves as well. So yeah, you know it's for us. Every week is a challenge, and they're gonna try to you know improve and attack us in different ways. And you know every team's different. So yeah, we don't focus on what other teams are doing. You know necessarily we're focused on you know being the best version of ourselves, and that's what you know we plan on doing. What are some things about Mac Jones that you think make him quarterback? Um, you know, Mac is he's a tough guy. You know, he wears his you know heart on his sleeve. He goes out there and he's competitive, and he can make a lot of throws. You know, he's he's more athletic than you know most people give him credit for. And uh, you know, I think he's a, he's he's a really solid player in this league. So um, yeah, you know, anytime you know you step out there on the NFL field, everybody's going to be able to play. So uh, you got to be at your best and ready for everything. So really, what have you liked from the defensive line that you guys been able to do the past couple of weeks? Uh, I feel like we've been getting after it. We've been uh, making practice become reality, so stuff like that. The last three games you've held defenses, or offenses, I say, to zero points. Last three games, fourth quarters, you know, how does that happen? Uh, just all being on the same page. All playing the football that we practice every day and just playing up to the standard that we know we can, we can hold. So. so far this season, you've gotten a lot of playing time with, you know, the circumstances that they are. You know, how have you been able to kind of prepare yourself for the reps that you've been getting now? Uh, I'm just trying to do the best I can, trying to make the most of it, of every opportunity I get. So, yeah. What was that? I mean, obviously, you kind of go from, you know, kind of seen as a rotational guy to now kind of the starting guy next to Max. What were some of the things that kind of like went into this offseason as to, you know, properly preparing for the role? And also, how much of a, how much do you put on yourself being across from Max to be like, I got to do my part? Uh, I don't think it was ever like I had to prepare different. It was just basically just waiting for an opportunity of like, like yeah, my time's gonna come, and and when my time does come, just being able to produce. So I think it was that. And what was your other question? So uh, just you know, how much do you put on yourself to kind of you know be on the other side of Max? You know he's gonna do his thing. You know how much does that put on you as well? Well, I see I see Max work every day, and he's his own biggest credit. So just being around that every day, you know, like things like. You know for a fact you can be more harsh on yourself when it comes to critiquing your self-play, so, so yeah. Last question. Uh, obviously, you also have some good guys in the interior line. You have Bilal, John Jenkins, Adam Butler, guys like that. Can you just talk about what they're able to provide from a pass rushing perspective that helps you? Oh, that middle push, 100%. That pressure from the inside gets the QB to roll out, kind of spilled to us sometimes, so it's always great to have those guys. And, uh, also, when you're looking at the Patriots, you played the Patriots last year. Obviously, there's a little kind of differences here and there, but on film, what do you think about them? Uh, I think it's a solid team. I think we got to prepare like we pr prepare like everybody else. So just got to be locked in and play our game. So I got a question for you. You have eight, 10 tackle games. You are now tied for second most in franchise history. Did you know that? How does that feel? Uh, somebody sent me that. It feels great. Um, hopefully, I can continue and hopefully I have the record here soon. Is that something that you feel like you could build on? Like, okay, I, I'm, I'm close. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just keep running to the ball and the tackle's going to come to me. For sure. Everything that you guys worked on in training camp and preseason, it looks like all of a sudden it's starting to happen. Getting to the quarterback, getting turnovers. Are you? Is, does it, is it kind of like a sigh of relief when you start to see the results the way you guys want it to be? 
Uh, we knew it would come. It was just about time. Um, we were patient. We just kept working every day, and uh, hopefully we can keep it up. How difficult is it to be, be patient? <laughs> it, it, was, it was getting rough, uh, but we kept attacking practice every day, and uh, thankfully we were good. Is it nice to be able to be at home two weeks in a row? Yes, sir. It was lovely. <laughs> I can't wait to see him uh, this Sunday.